Hi, my name is Ryan Darst, and today I'm going to go over real quickly how to open a case, uh, simulate a case with uh, Simplify using a simple playbook that uh, we've come up with that we're going to use uh, for our demo point environment. Uh, so, for example, on my screen here, we can see that um, I have a number of cases here on the left. Uh, these three IP alerts are just defaults I've created, cases that I've simulated. And in this particular example, I have, uh, have an alert um, that's been created. We have some insights from uh, different components, uh, part of the playbook that, uh, that was part of this alert uh, that we actually executed. Um, we have a number of steps here. One, and we're going out and grabbing information from the Sandblast uh, API, grabbing information for uh, specific MD5s, uh, getting classifications on IP addresses, again, enriching data, getting another uh, set of eyes on this uh, particular hash from virus total just to uh, get uh, you know more uh, information for an analyst. And then as part of this as well, we're also using our threat reputation uh, to look at the IP addresses that we have uh, in the system. So in this particular case, you know we have a uh, an external IP and this one has been uh, classified as an anonymizer uh, in our system. So uh, again, through each one of these steps, uh, from the, from the log message that we received, we're grabbing more and more information to a point where we make a decision as well. If there is a, uh, a need to, we'll go ahead and apply the IP addresses into a block list uh, within the checkpoint firewall. So again, we have three different uh, touch points here for uh, the checkpoint products. Uh, one of them is the Sandblast API. One of them is the threat reputation uh, API as well, checking uh, the IP addresses. And this could also check URLs and, and some other things, but in this particular playbook, we're only sending in IPs and hashes um, and then making the decision and using um, a block list uh, into the manager. Now, Simplify also has the ability to create SAM rules. Uh, so the suspicious activity monitoring rules, we have that capability as well. Uh, but in this particular example, I'm just very uh, easily just uh, pushing in uh, the IPs that we see as part of the case and putting in into a uh, blacklist or a drop list uh, within the system. So let's go through and I'll show you how to create a case, uh, simulate a case. And again, this is in our uh, demo point environment with a, an example playbook. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, the IP alert here is the simulated case that I've been using as, as examples. I'm going to go ahead and change this. I'm going to update this to have a uh, a new uh, MD5, because uh, I don't want this to be uh, part of uh, another case. So let me grab a MD5 here, and we're going to replace this. And again, this is simulating a arc site. Uh, we can see at the top here, this is a arc site IP correlation type uh, log that we're going to simulate. So we're using the, the fields that would be part of that log file uh, to send this through. So let me just change this to like a 10.0.0.101, something like this. Uh, we'll give it an IP check and let's grab a, a new IP here from our list uh, of malicious IPs. Hopefully we get a good one. Hopefully we'll, we'll get a reputation for it as well. Um, so again, using just the fields that are part of the arc site uh, log that would be sent in if we, if we had that. Um, that's what we're going to do here. So next, I'm actually going to select the IP alert because this is the uh, simulated case I want to run. When I hit the gear here, this was just basically updating the fields uh, for this simulated case. So now that I've, I've updated those with my new MD5, my new external internal IPs, this would look like a new case or it should look like a new case when we uh, create it. Uh, so I'm going to pick the environment of default environment because this is where my credentials and all of my uh, components are. Simplify is set up as, uh, has the ability to have multiple environments. Um, so it has, it's multi-tenant. Um, by default, I'm just gonna use the default. Um, so I've went ahead and generated a new case. And we can see here, we have uh, our three cases. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh the, the case list here. And now we have a new case. We see that um, the event uh, is, is started. We'll go ahead and refresh the case. And we'll see some more information here uh, as well. We see that the uh, we've got some information already as the playbook is actually executing. So playbook is running, grabbing data. Uh, we've already got a result from uh, the Sandblast uh, 
correlation of the uh, of the hash. So we see that this is a um, a uh, this is a uh, a bad uh, piece of malware. You know, it's it's a backdoor. Uh, it's got a specific family and confidence levels of five with this particular list. We have our threat reputation has given us some more information. You know, this is an internal IP based on uh, the, the blue around the, the IP here. So we know it's uh, internal, it's unclassified and our external uh, is classified. So the other thing, uh, while, while this is actually running, I'm gonna show, uh, so this 205.14 has been, uh, just was added to uh, the blacklist. So we see that that has now been, been added and we can actually see that a policy install is occurring as well. This is part of uh, the setup uh, of the Simplify integration uh, with Checkpoint. Um, so we're taking the external entity, the external IP address, and this, again, this was that 205.14. Uh, we've added that to a network blacklist. Uh, so if I pull up the groups, uh, this was the group that uh, we added that to. And uh, we'll see that, you know, that, uh, that 205.14 is now part of that as an address range uh, in this blacklist group. And the policy was installed out to a particular gateway. So we see that that, uh, that had occurred. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and refresh the case because <clears throat> we have more information that's in here. And we also see that uh, we pulled information from virus total, again, to give us a, a good understanding uh, or an analyst, a good understanding of not only did the sandblast uh, component give us um, a confidence of five on this, um, you know, 47 to 71 engines and virus total also said, you know, this is this is malicious as well. Uh, so we have a, you know, two different uh, uh, threat sources giving us that information along with a uh, the threat reputation telling us this IP address that uh, we saw is is not uh, not the probably the best, uh, it's definitely classified as an anonymizer. Uh, so there is a threat here. And again, if we look at the actual playbook, um, we're grabbing information again from Sandblast, from the threat reputation, we're analyzing it, putting it in our case wall where it makes sense, and then using decision logic based on what we received from the previous steps um, to know whether we need to either block the IP or just go ahead and close the cases, uh, not malicious. Uh, and move forward, you know, with it for the analyst automatically. So again, uh, making that decision tree, and and we could make decisions in different areas of the playbook, but uh, for this was just a simple way that we could create this uh, playbook and give you a an idea of what's possible uh, with this. If I actually look at some of the information as well, we can actually see uh, in the case wall um, information that the analyst may want to look at as well. Um, along with you know the external IPs, the actual information that we've received, and the uh, different components here, um, whether the the MD5 was um, uh, valid or not valid, or if we saw that it was malicious. So again, all of the information that an analyst may want to look at, if it's part of the playbook, uh, we can actually you know pull that information up in one uh, simple uh, area so they can actually see that. Again, this very simple. Um, example of how to use uh, Simplify uh, with this particular playbook. And uh, again, this was uh, built for our demo point environment just to give you a simple overview of what, what is possible uh, with, the, uh, with the Simplify product uh, tying into uh, a checkpoint ecosystem. Thank you so much.